Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Aradhana and the result of UGC net December 2023 was out a couple of days ago and a lot of you messaged me on Instagram that you have not qualified the examination. Of course, a lot of you did qualify the examination. So congratulations to everybody who qualified this examination. But the people who did not qualify the examination, how are you going to start your preparation? So today I am going to talk about everything that you need to do to start your preparation, to restart your preparation. Okay. So this video will address the mistakes that we commit mostly during our preparation. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, for people who have given their examination for the very first time and to the people who have maybe failed multiple times. I think there was one subscriber who uh, wrote down uh, in one of the comments that she had failed the examinations six times or, or sometimes you people tell that you have been preparing for two years or something so I think this is not such a hard examination that you need to take you know so many attempts I think one or two or maybe three max max is three attempts to uh, qualify this examination uh, you know the JRF could take forever uh, but still net ke liye, I think uh, only two three uh, two uh, two three attempts are like more than enough yeah. so yeah in today's video I'm going to discuss all the things that we uh, commit during our preparation maybe the first time or the second time or the third time maybe so I've written down a lot of things actually so I'm going to talk about these things one by one so let's get into today's video and if if you have any personal query then you can message me on Instagram so follow me link is in the description and now let's get started with today's video okay the first thing that I need to address is that you need to give at least six months to this preparation okay to the preparation of this examination no matter what at least six months are uh, you know are needed to qualify this examination I don't think anybody can qualify this examination if they have not prepared for at least six months that is if you are doing self-study okay six seven month is if you are doing self-study if you have taken any course then I think you can qualify the examination in less than six months but I think uh, yeah with if you are uh, doing self-study then you need to take at least six months you know uh, and you have to fully dedicate those six months to this preparation if you want to qualify the examination so uh, uh, if you have prepared for less than six months and then not qualified this examination then I don't think so there is a need to worry you just need to give a little bit more time to the exam okay the second thing is that you need to study at least seven to eight hours every day seven eight hours mean I don't I don't I'm not saying that you have to do it in a very rigid schedule or something you can sometimes you know some days you can uh, only read for like four hours or five hours that is totally fine okay but at least four or five days in the week you have to give seven to eight hours okay which I don't think so is a uh, is very much okay you can just divide it into two three uh, you know uh, time breaks and you can uh, easily manage seven to eight hours though if you are still studying in college it might be a problem but uh, you know with the ample amount of rest I think you can study for like seven hours or six hours every day I don't think so that's a problem I also used to prepare when I was in college and all so I think you can manage it if you want it okay the third thing is that it depends a lot on uh, how you are studying that is if you are taking a course or you are doing self-study self-study might take a lot of time uh, to qualify this examination it took me I failed in my first attempt then uh, you know but still I did self-study I did not take any course I did use uh, YouTube videos a lot of them I, I don't deny that but I think if you're taking a course then you can you know qualify the examination much easily than anybody who is doing self-study and making his or her own notes okay so that depends a lot so if you are doing self-study then it might take a little bit of time there is no 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 need to worry okay you are going to qualify the examination maybe not the in the first attempt then maybe in the second or third so don't worry about that if you're doing self-study just do honestly uh, you know study and uh, yeah you're gonna qualify the examination okay so the fourth mistake that you might have committed is that you might have not made notes even if you have taken a course you cannot uh, revise all those booklets you know they give you a lot of big booklets as I've seen in a lot of courses okay so you cannot revise all those booklets before examination so I think even if you have taken a course and still not qualified there was this girl who texted me on Instagram she was like um, you know even if I have uh, taken a course I was not able to qualify the examination tell me how do I approach that so my answer to that is that even if you have taken a course 
while you are reading just write down the pointers that you uh, you know are uh, reading that you think are very important because everything not in that written in that booklet is uh, you know as important as it might seem ki ki ye course liya gaya that is me ek ek line hi important hai ek ek line se hi question aa jayega it's not like that okay they write a lot of it and then you have to distill that information okay so i think even if you have taken a course then uh, keep a register with you and start writing the main pointers you don't have to write the whole sentences you just have to write the uh you know the gist of the line or the gist of the paragraph or whatever you are reading okay so i think you should prepare it in that way uh, i also did the same uh, first of all i made like detailed notes and second time when i when i started revising for the very first time i took another copy and in just one copy i distilled all those 10 units in just one copy okay uh so you have to do that you know when you start writing then you rememberize uh you know much better uh so i think you should do that i'm not saying that you write it again and again and again though i did write it twice i think the first time i wrote it in a uh, register uh, from my detailed rows then the next time i did not open that detailed one wala register i just uh, read the pointers that i had written in my second register and the third time i was i just used to you know uh, jot down the things on the paper which i did not remember okay so this is how i think you should assess yourself from time to time while you are revising and all that okay now the fifth point is that revision is the most important thing no matter what revision i think uh, revision played a very big role uh, uh, i think that it was the reason i failed in the examination as well i did not revise a lot of time i think you should revise at least 10 times before appearing in the examination if you are uh, doing it you know that i have to qualify i have to qualify even if you if you are giving it for just to get an experience for the very first time then uh, it doesn't matter but if you are giving it that i have to qualify this examination then yeah i think 10 times to revision is a must okay so revision is very important revision ke liye i have made a, a video which i'll link in the description and also here somewhere in the on the i button so you can check that out revision ke liye i have told everything so revise in that way hai na and uh, yeah 10 times revision is a must sixth point is that develop interest in your subject okay a lot of you tell me that why have you made such notes uh, you know in such a creative way and all that i had to take a lot of interest in literary criticism literary theory i mean these were some of the uh, areas which which are not taught in such detail in you know ma uh, they are just you know touched upon a little bit but they are not taught and there are a hell lot of writers jin mein janti bhi nahi thi i mean i had not even heard their name okay and i was like ye sab log hain kaun so the thing is that you have to develop interest in those or uh, topics on the, in those writers and all those things whether it is through youtube video whether through making your notes more interesting whatever it takes okay just make develop interest in your subject you will get uh, you know uh, better at memorizing things if you take interest in that subject okay if you take interest in your subject it becomes a lot easier rather than just saying that i am going to just uh, you know uh, you know cram all the information so the thing is that develop a little bit of interest and you will memorize you will see the difference you know if you have interest in shakespeare then you don't have to uh, you know force yourself to read his play or read those lines you will remember all those lines okay uh so i think that uh, that interest helps a lot actually now the seventh point is that literary theory literary criticism and cultural studies these are three very important topics after british literature british literature say i mean british poetry british novelist british dramatist british non fiction writer fiction writer everybody after that literary theory cultural studies and literary criticism these three units are a must i think if you can prepare british literature and literary theory literary criticism and cultural studies then you are sorted i think okay even if you leave american literature i don't think so it's going to be a problem because usse bahut hi kam questions aate hain okay and if you have prepared these four units in a like thoroughly you have prepared these four units then you are going to qualify the examination and you have prepared the first paper of course 
so i think this is very important you people ask where is american literature this and that indian literature i think if you have prepared british literature in a you know very detailed manner then i think you are going to get a lot of marks from there only and literary criticism literary theory so bahut sare questions aate hi aate hain so i think you should take a uh, uh, you know care of that and after you have prepared these four units get on with american literature indian literature all those all those things are com- complementary okay but you have to first prepare british literature that is the most important thing in english right now the eighth point is that how you need to revise cramming information is very important for any examination i mean competitive examinations ka this is i think one thing that i don't like it's mostly cramming a lot of information but the thing is that and 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 no matter how much you hate it you have to do it okay so i think a passive revision is one of the things that i would suggest you to do which means simply means that you have to uh, you know uh, maybe use recordings or uh, you know you could record your own lectures or you could record your own videos explaining it to yourself you remember all those things in a better way and you can use youtube videos you know what i used to do is that i used to watch my william j long videos when i was preparing just to revise that okay because there i had talk about the most important things of the first three four chapters i think at three four uh, videos i had only uploaded at that point in time so i used to uh, watch my videos again and again and i was like you know this is a good way to uh, uh, memorize sometimes it happens so i used to watch other videos as well and i used to watch my videos as well so i think you should do all that second thing i did was that i used to record my uh, myself while revising uh, all that revising like just audio recordings and i still have those recordings hai na with me and uh, i used to listen to them while doing the dishes i mean you have to do ghar ka kaam okay uh even if you are preparing and all that so i used to just uh, you know get on my earphones and uh, yeah i used to uh, play all those you know background mein shakespeare's uh, life is going on and uh, i'm doing the dishes uh, that was uh, that's really hilarious but i think that's a very good way to uh, you know passively revise all those things you don't know when something is going to click in your mind and you're going to just get that one question right that you need to qualify the examination so i don't think so uh, anything goes to waste okay now the ninth fact is that guidance consistency is very important i mean it is very important to take guidance if you are getting guidance from somebody who has qualified the examination you know who is physically also present with you who can just tell you that these are the notes you have made these are the problems that you have created these are the mistakes that you have committed okay if you don't then take youtube's help i did not had any kind of help i to i did not had anybody to guide me because i didn't know anybody who had qualified the examination of course i had professors but i did not take a lot of help from them i just uh, relied on arpita karwas youtube channel and uh, dana multi taskers youtube channel and uh, even if i when i qualified the examination i texted uh, dara multi tasker on instagram and he replied as well uh, that thank you for um, you know all your support through your youtube channel so yeah um, i just took help of those two channels i think that is a very uh, those two channels are really good for you gc net uh, okay the 10th and the last point is that you need to assess yourself while going through the pyqs that is the question papers okay <clears throat> you have to get at least 50% okay when you are assessing yourself you need to see if you are getting at least 50% combine both the papers okay and if, even if you are doing it separately then you need to get at least 50% kehne ka matlab hai out of 100 questions in english literature you need to solve 5, 50 questions correctly okay then that means that your preparation is going strong okay that is uh, that means that you are you can you can qualify the examination if you prepare you know revise very well okay so uh, assess yourself like that okay okay another thing is that you people always say that how many marks do i need to get to qualify this examination the thing is that it is divided the cutoff is divided into categories we all have categories and uh, you know even if you like it or don't like it that is the thing okay that is the reality so you have to check out the cutoff of last year 
that how much uh, was the cut off and according and it is in percentile you cannot really judge that how many marks did the top topper get and all those kinds of things and every time the cut off changes you cannot rely on one cut off that this is going to if i get this these many marks then i am going to qualify the examination that's not going to happen this i also did the same thing but that that's why i failed okay you need to target on the maximum okay for what i suggest is that 30 questions from the first paper out of 50 and uh, 60 questions from paper second out of 100 okay if you keep it uh, you know keep your target like this then i think you can qualify the exam very easily okay even if you just uh, you know don't do uh, as expected you will get a lot of marks okay so just keep your uh, aim like that you know 30 in the first paper and 60 in the second paper if you keep it like that then i think you can you you will just assess yourself like that and then you are going to qualify the examination so yeah these were some of the things that i think uh, you need to know before restarting your preparation or if you are starting for the very first time so yeah i hope it would be helpful for you and if you have any kind of query you can comment that down or you can also dm me on instagram and he, there i also post sometimes uh, uh reels and uh, you know other poems and stuff kind of thing so yeah you can follow me there as well to stay connected and uh, yeah i hope you all will qualify the examination next time and tell me if you have qualified your examination this year and if you have any tip to give um, to other people in the comment section so yeah that was it for today and i'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye